Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. So what I wanted to say was, okay, 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 it's, just, it's time to get back to work. Whatever that means, I've been dying to say it to you. Okay, it's time to go back to work now. Back to work. So whatever that means. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November. At any time in November, okay? So let's just see what comes up. We are going to start right here. What do we have for Gemini for the month of November? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? Any time in November. A lot of you are going to be watching this in October. This is for November. Stand your ground. Okay, so this is perseverance, competition. You may be dealing with some challenges, some opposition, some fighting. You may have some stiff competition. Things are probably going to be hectic. Do not give up. You are on top and you will remain on top. Okay, you're in a tough position. You have a lot of people, you know, uh, against you. It's not going, it's not an easy position to be in. But my advice is don't give up. You will win. There's a lot of gossip, okay? Yeah, you may have a lot of haters. People don't like the truth. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. Yes, you're going to be dealing with some competition. Things are going to be rough. But, looks like that's a victory to me. Don't give up. So what do we have for Gemini? Don't budge. Okay? You probably got a lot of people coming at you. There's probably a lot of haters. That's what I think. Tough, tough, tough position to be in. Strength. Strength. That is amazing. So yeah, you're going to need to be strong. Be brave and master your emotions. This is definitely about perseverance and being successful. Through probably a traumatic experience. You may be going through something traumatic. Or you may have experienced something very. Uh, disheartening. But whatever is happening. You do have the strength to persevere. So this is going to be a month of. Probably recovery. Or. Uh, well, it looks like here we have. And this is. It's, it's like a. I'm happy with the I'm happy. I'm good. I've I've I'm I made it. You know what I mean? This is somebody that has persevered and overcame. So I do believe that you are going to persevere over some sort of situation. This is like a victory it is. You you may have been through some struggles which I see that you have, but I think you have some sort of loyalty here. There's somebody that is probably very loyal to you. And it feels like there's a lot of people in both of these cards. It feels like there's a lot of support. You're probably not the same person that you used to be. Something has happened in your life that has changed you. Something traumatic. I think it's something traumatic. Uh, and it feels like you may be on some sort of stage, you know, with both of these cards. I'm not sure if you're going to be on stage or... No, we got, we got one card out. What do we have for Gemini? People may be surprised by your uh, strength, by your inner strength, by your victory. They may be surprised that you made it.
that you didn't give up, don't give up. You will succeed. I got goosebumps. One more card. Oh, bread. Pre period of <laughs> period of prosperity and abundance. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So you're dealing with this person. It's not you. Love. Love. This is all about love. So this month is about love. It's about more than love. It could be self-love. It could be love from supporters. You do have an arrogant, boastful person that, around you that is a hater. Somebody, one of your competitors. Somebody that really doesn't like you. Okay? There's going to be some cross-watchers watching this that are putting the fingers, their fingers at you. You know, at the Gemini. Whatever. That's this person right here. No offense, cross-watchers. is reading for Gemini. There's people that don't like you. And they don't like you because you speak your mind. You speak your truth. You stand your ground. You're strong. You're, you're brave. You're courageous. Everybody wants to be on top. And when they're not on top, what do they try to do? They try to bring another person down. Anyway, this is a period of prosperity and abundance for you. There is some sort of love here. I feel like you're going to be really happy this month. So what do we have for Gemini? Now, this is an eight, which is abundance. And then we have the period of prosperity and abundance here. So something is coming in that is going to... Uh, abundance is, is having it all, right? Now, abundance isn't just money. It's a happy in many ways, okay? It's happy on the inside, happy with your life happy with your status having everything you need that's what abundance is plenty nine of wands again perseverance this is all about not giving up all three of these cards all about perseverance and strength and determination you are going to need to find that de determination to not give up on something. This is about, you know, growing weary. Thinking, you know, thinking, oh, can I do this? Yes, you can. Where there, is a, where there is a will, there is a way. You may have some doubt and some fear. You, you've been hurt or something. Belittled or in some sort of situation that really crushed you. But I feel like your hard work is paying off. You may be on the edge of giving up or you may be feeling down or or something. But you still got some fight left. Okay. Um, you're going to need to show people how strong you are. Stand up. Stand up for yourself. Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups, so that is, the Queen of Cups is tender love and care. It's love, emotional. Mm. Six of Wands reversed. Now this is, I don't know, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now this is a loss. This is a one hit wonder. This is losing. If you are dealing with a water sign, you know, this is a water sign. This is a loss. <sighs> Which is interesting. Now, this is somebody that is... Now, the Six of Wands reverse is somebody that is very smug, very cocky. There's some sort of unwelcome news that is coming. Hmm. That's unwelcome news. Or loss. 
Ah, there's a higher power involved here. Could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the, this is believe, have faith, trust. Trust, there's a higher power that is guiding you. Do not give up. Oh my God. What do we got here? Seeing clearly. There's some sort of clarity being come, becoming clear of the choice. The choice will be made clear. Five of Swords reversed. Do you want to win or do you want to be right? This is about ego. We definitely have ego here. We have somebody here that has a very big ego that doesn't care who they hurt as long as they win. This is somebody that wants to win at all costs. It appears that it is a water sign. Six of Wands reverse. No victory. That's not a victory. This is seeing clearly. Somebody's going to see something clearly. There's been some confusion. There's been some sort of... Uh, well, this is defeat. Defeat. Surrender. Walk away. Somebody may be ending up walking away. This person may be walking away. Mm. Now, the Ace of Cups reverse is very, very, very emotional. Extremely emotional. Um, oh, God. The Fool reverse. The Fool reverse. That is a setback. That's a fall. It's a fall from grace. It is. It is. It's bad. It's unprepared. Lack of judgment, no trust, no faith, a need to have faith. You need to have faith. Have faith in your abilities. You fought a good fight. I do see that. But there's some sort of emotional discontent here. I think that you're going to be losing your faith and you need to have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Believe. Believe. You need to, you know, I feel like you are feeling fearful there's fear here you're fearful mm -hmm. some of you could be fearful of commitment okay this is about commitment you know de determination needing to de defend yourself protect yourself you're, you may be feeling like you need to protect yourself it feels like you have an opportunity for a commitment here maybe it's bad timing it's not the right time this is unprepared It feels like you're dealing with a water sign that um, has been fighting with you or has fought with you before because these are both fights in the upright. Somebody is seeing clearly. There you are. They're seeing clearly that they're defeated. They're seeing clearly that uh, they lost you. Are they lost or something like that? They should have fought, but their ego was in the way. Something about ego here, extremely egotistical. And I don't know who this person is. Uh, it feels like it's a water sign to me. They're, they lost you. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. Um, I feel like you are wounded. I feel like you're wounded. I feel like you're hurt. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to be, you're, you're going to be sad. You're going to be emotional. You're probably going to have to have some tears. This could be like some unfinished business here. Something is going on and I feel like, uh, you're going to be all, your, your emotions are, you're going to have scattered emotions. You're going to have scattered feelings. High Priestess. We have a very intuitive person here. Somebody, but this is like, I mean, with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, this is somebody that is, is an empath, a tarot reader, a medium, a spiritual teacher, a psychic. This is, I mean, the High Priestess is all-knowing. Seven of 
secrets. Some there's some sort of somebody's been keeping secrets. They haven't been expressing their feelings because they're intimidated. They are intimidated, which they, you know, I can see that they would be. Anyhow, somebody is intimidated, and that's why they they have let their ego get in the way. They're fearful. They're fearful of taking a risk. But I feel like this month we have an individual here that is uh, seeing very clearly what they want. They're seeing very clearly, and they're coming forward. They are. They're coming forward. Or they're seeing very clearly that they lost somebody. This is an arrogant, boastful person. It is. Uh, whoever this person is. And it feels like they know that that you're the one. Or they know that you're the one they want to marry. Or you're the contender. Or you're the... They know. Somebody knows that you're the one. What the hell is this? Something is about to be revealed. Some, it feels like somebody has has made their mind up that they have. They made they they see clearly that they don't want to fight. They just want to be happy. They're listening to their intuition. They're ready to leave the past hurts behind. Forgive. There's forgiveness here. It's it's a time of recovery. It's a time. To focus on the future. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness, you know. It's the end of suffering. This is releasing pain, forgiveness on the path to recovery, you know. This is healing. Healing love. So something, and there, there is, there's some sort of healing. Healing here. Healing of love. Healing of the heart. Uh, after being wounded. After being hurt. You have an opportunity for... Uh, well, this looks like a long-term commitment. I think that you are going to be making a choice in regards to your future. You're going to be put in a position that really tests you. Okay? Um, this is the end of a painful situation, just so you know, with the Three of Swords reversed. Oh my God, Ace of, underneath that Queen of Cups. This is a loss. Somebody has experienced a huge loss. It's this water sign. It's right underneath the water sign. And they know that you're the one. <laughs> freaking God. They do. That five of swords reverse, that is a fight. Fighting. So I feel like somebody may be fighting for you. It's been a, or it's been a big fight. It's been a big battle. Now the five of swords reverse could be, you know, peace talks, talks of, you know, peace, peaceful resolution. I feel like whoever you are dealing with didn't stay. They didn't stay. They didn't fight for a connection. They didn't fight. They didn't fight hard enough, whoever this person is. Now they're realizing their loss. And they may be swallowing their pride. We have somebody here that was all show. Now they see very, very clearly what they should have done. <laughs> you're going to be put in a position, you know, if you think about that nine of wands, you're going to be put in a position of... What do you want to do now? Or that kind of thing. Soul ownership. You're going to have to uh, 
be really, 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 really strong this month because the, all them three first cards, you're going to have to be super strong. Hang man. Hey man, you're going to be thinking a lot. Whoever you're dealing with is thinking a lot. This is this is uh learning some kind of lesson. You're going to you're this is going to be a struggle. You're going to have a, you're going to be struggling to make some sort of decision this month in regards to uh, something that you have been stuck in or sacrificing yourself for or they have been. Somebody's been uh, needing to have a new perspective. They're about to get it. They are about to get it. Somebody is going to be about to get a new perspective. And it's over a loss. There is a big loss here with that Ace of Pentacles reversed. Somebody had to learn a lesson. Somebody may have been trying to teach another person a lesson as well. Trying to teach another person a lesson results in loss. Especially when it's heartbreaking. Especially when it's not following your heart. When it's about winning at all costs and trying to teach another person a lesson. One more card or, or two or whatever we get. What do we got for Gemini? We have thinking, needing to think, needing to really, really think about your next move. Uh, a knight of swords. Somebody's coming in fast. Somebody is coming in. This is a sudden arrival, okay, or a sudden departure. Uh, very assertive, very communicative. Somebody's going to be communicating with you. This person is going to be, and maybe it's you. Somebody is going to be throwing themselves into the heart of an issue. It's like they're they're ready to fight. Be ready to fight, okay? Um, you may be under attack. You may be under attack. I feel like... Uh, You have somebody coming in that is that is about that is ready ready to fight. Be ready to fight this month, or be ready to protect yourself, or defend yourself, or communicate with somebody that is. Uh, I don't know. You fought with them in the past, or something like that. I feel like this is a champion. Maybe you're, there's some, this is a champion thing. Maybe you're going to be the, we have a champion. I don't even want to say that word. I don't know where that came from. And I'm, oh God. This is victory. Okay. This is a victor. You have a debater here. You have, you have somebody here that is. Uh, very clever, very sharp. This person wants to be ahead of the rest. And they are going to do whatever it takes to be ahead of the rest. Now, one more card for Gemini. I feel like you're going to be thinking about uh, whatever news that you receive. You are going to be receiving some news. Okay? It's going to be about a loss. Okay? Um... You're really gonna be thinking hard. You're gonna be you're gonna be wounded and down over this whatever it is communication. But that hierophant is a higher power. You need to believe and have faith that everything happens for a reason. This is the end of a painful situation. You are going to have to struggle through. You're gonna have to struggle through whatever this is. Somebody is coming in to test you. You will be tested. This is somebody that is taking swift action in your direction. They know. They, they want to win. They definitely want to win at all costs. They want to be ahead of the pack. Ah, this is a new beginning. Exciting. This is an exciting new beginning. This is a sudden desire. This is a new ambition, new drive, new passion. Just go for it. 
this is exciting, okay? This is an exciting new opportunity for growth. Passionate, passionate new beginning. So, Gemini, I feel as though you are going to be receiving, um, you're going to be excited with whatever this is. This is going to excite you. But I do feel like you are going to also be very, very emotional with that Ace of Cups reverse. I think that you're going to be emotional over it. You're going to have to master your emotions. You're going to have to think about your next move. You're going to struggle. Uh, this may be some unfinished business, you know, that you need to clear up. There may be. Uh, then maybe there's been some sort of misunderstanding with that fool reversed. But I feel like you will be able to clear it up. Uh, somebody may be asking for forgiveness. I feel like you are going to win. Good luck. <laughs>